Hello boys and girls, it's Sir Owen here, and today we're playing some Final Fantasy Type Zero. Last episode we got done capturing this city here, and now we're just on the way back to report our success to our um, leader, was it? I'm not entirely sure what we call them guys, I forgot already. A new entry has been added to the rubrics. View it by visiting the that or selecting history on the title screen. You all have been working so hard, Keeper. It brings a tear to my eye. Remember, only 12 hours until the next mission. Report back to Classroom Zero to hear some fascinating lectures, Keeper. I think you should be just fine on the upcoming level, upcoming level 13 mission, Keeper. Yeah, what? I'm Enra from Class First. Yeah, that's right, THE Class First. Jealous? Keep talking, why not? Isn't it funny how love can just smack, just kind of smack you between the eyes, right? I messed that up so badly, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Could there be a worse time to get caught up in all that roses are red garbage than right in the middle of war? Then again, maybe a little romance is exactly what we all need in a time like this. When you're in love, you've got someone that got someone to fight for to make sure to make you make it out alive. But here I am, in love with a girl of my dreams, and then that jerk's always blocking me out. They're not even dating anymore. Or oh, they're not even dating or anything. Grr! Anyway, thanks for letting me get that off my chest. We got a high potion from him. So as the Moogle said guys, I am heading back to um, Class Zero to actually do the lectures he is talking about. Simply because it gives us a bit more um, status level up and stuff like that. Um, let's go and talk to this woman. Rubrum girl, if it's not any trouble, I would like to ask your assistance. Oh, yes ma'am? We are envoys for the Kingdom of Concordia. We must speak with the Chancellor quickly. We would like to know where we might find his office. We received directions, but the scenery impressed me so that I seem to have gotten us lost. The best way to get to the Chancellor's office is by going through that magic portal up ahead. Oh my. It appears that we have taken quite the detour now, haven't we? You seemed so confident. I was certain you knew where you were going. Thank you for your help, young lady. May the path you follow be bright. You have our gratitude. Um, as I said earlier, I'm not entirely sure if I did say this actually, but I think the f my favourite house, clan sort of thing, um, has always been the Concordia Alliance, simply because of they have dragons. So, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, I can't exactly remember if I did actually sit mention that or not. Did you come for a lecture, Kupo? Taking a class will raise every Kupo's abilities. The more classes you take, the stronger every Kupo will become. Take lots of classes and you'll be ready for battle, Kupo. Let's do the fight first. This class is designed for those completely unfamiliar with combat students. Oh, students will develop an understanding of mission of objectives, learn how to complete larger objectives through setting smaller goals and every ever-changing war environment, practice com comprehensive decision-making skills. You're here for lecture, Kupo? I'm so proud. Here's a, here's a reward for being so driven, Kupo. Obtained Mega Elect Ether. Keep up the good work, Kupo. We don't actually see the, um, uh, the lecture happen, Kupo. This is pre- Kupo. We don't actually ha watch the, um, lecture happen. This is literally all we see. So there's really no point, we don't learn anything. So we earned 2,000 EXP for that. That's pretty much all we get out of these lectures guys, just random, ex random experience, random ability boosts. 
Let's do the next one while we're here. This class is targeted towards those with no experience casting defense magic. Students will develop an understanding of basic defensive spells, learn effective strategies for using defensive magic in the field, particularly against militesi arms, work toward the mastery of even the most difficult defensive incarnations. I don't know, incantations, I don't know. I'm just gonna skip past this bit, guys. And we've got two magic, two defense points there, guys, for every character we have. I'm now gonna head to the weapon shop, guys, see if we can buy any better weapons for our party. Well, it seems we have a little objective thing with King, so I'm going to do that first. What is it? Therefore, I'll be sharing my home with the Million Bird Crystal. Ever notice how all the cadets around here have different coloured capes? Each class has its own colour, but I wasn't paying attention when Mother first brought me to Academia. Class Serial wears crimson in honour of the Million Bird, but that's not all we stand for. We also pre represent, represent Mother. She's the one who pulled strings to get us here in the first place. The other cadets complain about us riding in her coat coattails. They ain't even completely wrong, but that's exactly why we've got to prove ourselves. To show everyone that Mother made the right choice in bringing us here. Welcome, cadet. I'm here to offer you the only... Oh, I've already read this bit. So I'm mainly going to be using um uh seven, I think that's the name. I can't remember, but I think I think it was seven. No that that's seven. I have no idea what her name is guys. If you know, please let me know. I'm going to be using Jake, Jack as I said so. And probably Mark in there as well. Well, that's everyone I'll probably more li more than likely use. So everyone else, I'm gonna get their weapons until I run out of money. Well, let's equip them now before we forget. Like I don't think I can unless I'm at the main, at the the, the terminal. I can't think of what it's actually called. Hmm. According to my theory, this should be right. Maybe I need more samples. <sighs> Would you not sneak up on me like that? <sighs> That's class zero for you. I'm Kazusa. I guess you could say I'm a researcher with the Armory Guild. Pleased to meet you. Oh, right. I've been wanting to talk to you class zero kids. Would you come with me? I know you're busy. So, just stop by when you have time. I'd love to see any member of Class Zero. So please tell your classmates. It's mission time, Cooper. Report to Class Zero on the double, Cooper. So I can't really remember what happens in this next main mission. I think it's us actually taking back the continent on the outside. It's hard to explain. You'll see exactly what I mean when it happens. That is. Class Zero, you've received marching orders. Imperial, Imperial vermin have infested the area surrounding Academia. Exterminate them. Whether you accept these orders is up to you. Just bear in mind that laziness will not go unrewarded. The choice is yours, Cadet. Participation in the following regional occupation campaign is, op is optional. You cannot, you cannot earn rewards if you do not participate in these operations. However, all occupation campaigns can be replayed from the main mission, from the main menu. Though the conscription and deployment of the Agito Cadets, the domain successfully liberates Mac Mac Mackay. 
Using the newly retaken city as a base of operations, the domain launches a, line, a large scale campaign to reclaim the Rubrum region. Under the command of their CEO, Kuzami, Class Zero joins the campaign to execute um, special missions as an autom autom auto. Um, I don't know how to say that, guys. I'm gonna join it. Proceed through the main gate and on your. Ah! Proceed through the main gate and on to your destination. You won't be far from academia, but that doesn't mean you can come home crying mid mission. Take back what's rightfully ours. Dismissed. Ready for this. Leave this to me. As I said, guys, I am really sorry for keep slurring during me reading stuff. By the way guys, them um, characters saying good luck, you're going to hear that every single time you go on the main mission, so you best get used to it now. Though the co- oh, I've already read this bit, I'm going to bother reading it again. Who's our lowest level character? That'll be a level 10, so I'm going to go with Jack. Oh, I have to choose. So 10, 10, 11, 10, 11. There we go guys, make sure everyone's in order. Change equipment? No. Yes. Oh, oh well, I'll do it next I'll do it next time instead now. I won't do it, so I won't mark no. Trey. Trey would be easier for this, I think. Let me explain the situation on the ground, Kupo. Our forces have launched a campaign to reclaim the Rubrum region, Kupo. Of Kusai. Your objective is to help the series to end me base at Kusai. The infamous red demon. That sounds like Lu Bu of um Dennis the Warriors. First, assist that troop in taking over the main one. Next, direct our forces towards Ak and occupy the town, Kupo. Once we captured Ak and, and okay, I can't read that quick. Let's take back our land, Kupo, for the Dominion. Victory condition: occupy Kusai. Failing option: lose Makiti. Show a tutorial on this mission? No, I'll show it's pretty basic where and I'll show you as I continue with the game. Continue with this mission. Occupy the main one? Yes, you've just said that like five seconds ago. Okay, these guys will be actually attacking the main one automatically. All you got to do is keep attacking the enemy and help them actually get there. Well guys, since we've got our um, army here, that's all we pretty much have to do until they capture it. Took them too lightly. We can't let them do any and that's it done. Good. This is going better than expected. Crystal guide you. Goodbye. 
This is why I said Trey would be better for this mission, simply because he can attack at a distance. You now command Dominion 1. Put the troops of Dominion 1 to April. Not April, wherever that town is. Okay, move out! Good. The advantage is in our favor. Keep pressing onward. Goodbye. Enemy attack! Assume battle stance one! Alright uh, guys, as you can see, now that we've come, come captured the main one, it's pretty easy to get this city under our control. So what we have to do now is just wait until they give us the opportunity to attack. This is as far as you go! Impossible! What kind of monsters are they? Alright, uh, we can go in now. Invade the town, yes. Oh, it's the Reds! Defend this area with your lives! Class zero. Mencing maneuvers. We're okay here. Send back up to the other areas. As you can see guys, we have a time limit for this mission, so we have to find the uh, commander really quickly before he escapes. It's lucky for us, this area is not that big, it's simply straightforward. Oh, actually, we're here now. And that's the bad, um, the commander down, guys. We have to beat this machina, then we're pretty much done. Oh, I guess not. I'm presuming. I'm guessing I missed something during the mission I have to do. <laughs> Defeat two enemies using magic, using your active character. Sure. Support. Hey, I'm sure I'm gonna have to head this way since I don't know. Now since they keep continuously coming, so I'm assuming there's something back here I have to do in order to complete the mission. That's it done guys, so I'm assuming I just have to kill them too. Oh, I just I can have to capture five for attack for Fatoma. Glory to the Militesi Empire. Let's issue orders to this city to attack the main two. All right, move out. The Dominion has more momentum than I expected. Changing strategy. Kupu? Kupu! Enemy attack! All troops to battle stations! Not good. Good. The enemy forces have momentum. Be careful. We took them too lightly. We failed. Under attack! I assume it just seems like this um, city 
base is gonna be attacking them on its own. Support will commence now. Just like last time, guys, we simply have to wait for them to finish off the defenses so we can attack them. Damage report. The enemy base is about to fall. We still Charge have in and take it over. The base at all costs. I think we just um, finished that bit already. This last assignment for you both. Okay. Dominion has more momentum than I expected. So now we all we have to do is just attack the city and win the mission, guys. Okay, move out. The infamous red demons. Don't let them leave here alive. Class zero. Commencing maneuvers. What's going on? Why is he ho I'm not holding in the button. Alright uh, guys, just as this last city, I think this is the same siege here, where we just have to find the enemy commander, kill him, and then the mission's done. Alright guys, as you can see, I mainly use um, magic against the guys with the shields, mainly because they can't exactly block against it. Uh. By the way guys, if you want um, notifications of when I actually upload next, do make sure to follow me on Twitter, as, as um, the videos are uploaded, it's automatically uploaded to my Twitter and Facebook page. Also, I think you can actually turn notifications on YouTube as well, thinking about it. Really put a dent in the Imperial Forces, Cooper. We can just let. A okay. Is this Mission accomplished. The end. Report card, guys. Let's see what we got this level. We got an S. I think that's the highest we can actually get. So that's really good. And we got an Auric Ring. A Phoenix Pin. That's just means just a Phoenix down. Let's see Poe's Bulletin, Wizard's Hat now available. We've got Mega Elixir. We've got another Mega Elixir. That's about it. And on that note, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. If you liked the video, please leave a like and share. That way, it helps me us big, build a bigger community. That being said, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, take care, and thank you so much for watching.